Welcome back, YouTubers. This is the tenth video in our series focused on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. The focus of this video is going to be the legal move calculation for a pawn. And let's start out by looking at the Wikipedia entry for a chess pawn. And there are a few details that I want you to focus on. Number one is that in the initial position for a chessboard, the pawns can either move forward one tile or they can jump two tiles. That's uh, you know from a standard chess board. And they can only do the jump once. Once they've consumed that jump, they can't do it again. Um, the other detail is that the pawn attacks in a different direction than it moves in when it's not, excuse me, the pawn moves in a different direction when it's attacking than when it moves when it's not attacking. Okay, so when I'm, when this pawn on e2 is not attacking, it moves forward one tile, or it can jump two tiles. But when it's attacking, it moves in its diagonals, either to, in this example, either to d3 or to um, f3, okay? Uh, the other uh, detail is that there is a special move for the pawn called uh, en passant, and we will cover that in a subsequent video. Uh, another detail is that when pawns sort of advance all the way to into the um, enemy's camp, then they can be promoted to any other piece, except for the king. Um, typically, they're promoted to a queen. Um, and lastly, pawns have directionality, right? So these white pawns are advancing towards smaller tile IDs. Remember, we said that the tile ID starts from 60, or excuse me, zero and goes all the way down here to 63 and white pawns are all moving up in this direction and black pawns are all moving down in this direction so the black pawns are moving towards the higher tile IDs and the white pawns are moving towards the smaller tile IDs okay so that's a lot to cover and I'm not going to cover it all in this video uh, in this video I'm going to start by just covering the uh, pawn moving forward eight squares and if time permits we'll cover the jump uh, move but if not we'll do that in a subsequent video okay so let's just jump right into it here let's create a new Java class called a pawn and let's extend this piece and let's go ahead and implement our method and also extend Create constructor matching super, right, and let's go ahead and kick this off. Let's start by declaring our candidate move coordinate as usual. Let's start with just eight, and so if we come back here, we'll see eight. Why, why it chose 8. So let's say we started with the pawn on e2. Well, if we subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, what do you know? We land here on e3, and that looks that looks like a rule that is repeatable. If we subtract 8 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, here we are on e4, right? So now we've got that. Let's declare our array list of legal moves. Current candidate offset and the candidate from coordinates. 
So we would first we would apply the we would declare let's declare candidate estimation coordinate is equal to this dot piece position plus this dot candidate uh, uh, plus uh, current candidate offset right so this would simply apply the offset to the piece position. But remember the point that I made about directionality, right? So it would that that formula that we just wrote here would work for the black pawns because the black pawns are moving in the positive eight direction, but it wouldn't work for the white pawns. So we need some way to capture directionality. And so we need to look at the alliance class, okay? And we want to declare a method on the alliance class that's going to return directionality. Okay, so let's say that we declared an abstract int direction method. And implement that method. And what we're going to say is that for black, it's going to return positive 1. And for white, it's going to return minus 1. Okay. So. Here, we're simply going to say that we want to multiply this down. Get piece alliance. Get. Oh, and it's complaining because here, give me a second here. It's complaining because I did not declare this method um, visible, uh, public. So there we go. So now, now the formula would work properly. So we would apply for white, we would apply minus eight and for black we would apply 8. Okay, and what we want to say is we want to make sure that it's a valid tile, right? So if, um, if it's not a valid tile, we're just going to skip it. Um, if the board, if board utils dot is valid tile coordinate, um, Then continue. Now, okay, so let's handle the case where we say if, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second, if the current candidate offset is equal to 8, because there's going to be other candidate offsets, okay, but um, right now there's only, you know, 1, 8, but uh, in the future we'll see that there's also 16, 7, and 9. Um, but right, so what we'll say is if it's 8 and or dot get tile of candidate destination coordinate dot is occupied. So what we're going to say is if it's not occupied. Okay, so if you're moving one tile forward and the tile that you're moving forward to is not occupied right then um, we're going to simply say legal moves dot add and 
we're going to create a new move class called um, upon move. Let's just say new move for now. Let's just say a new major move now for now. And board this. Uh, hold on, let's see. What did I do for one of these other guys? Yeah, let's just steal it for now. For now, this is where I'm stubbing this out here. Okay, so I'm going to put a little comment here to do more work to do here. Right? Okay, but I just want to sort of give you the sense of what's happening. Um, now, there's other th considerations here, uh, right? So, what if we are, what if we were on D7 and we were moving to D8? Well, we would need to consider, uh, you know, upon promotion. But, like I said, I'm not going to cover all of that in this video. I just want to sort of uh, give you guys a start. Um, uh, right, so let's let's end the video here and what we'll do is we will pick up and I'm gonna break out the pawn into multiple smaller videos. Hopefully that works out well for you guys, but now you're starting to get the sense of how a pawn's going to look. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video.